See, our assessment, we have a pretty robust data collection system. Our assessment shows that at the end of the fourth round, the Congress plus allies are ahead of the BJP plus allies. Well, I think outside of Uttar Pradesh alone, well, I can't speak about Uttar Pradesh now, outside of Uttar Pradesh alone, the BJP is likely to suffer a net loss of at least 60 seats. Okay. Gujarat, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Haryana, Punjab. Gadbandan is doing very well, I'm told. I mean, Congress is not doing so well, but the Gadbandan is doing very well. Let's assume for the sake of argument that the Gadbandan is able to take away 50 seats. The entire 50 is going to come out of the BJP's quota. Because the Gadbandan today, SP has got 5 and uh, BSP has got 0. Correct. So if they take away 50 seats, they will have to take it away only from the BJP and its ally, Apnadal, who have got 73 seats. I don't know how many they will take away, but if they take away anything like 45 or 50 seats, that's a huge blow to the BJP. Their fiscal deficit projected as, was projected as 3.3, revised estimate says 3.4. Right. They have slipped and for the fourth year in succession. The Supreme Court has wittingly or unwittingly got dragged into controversies which I think should have been avoided and could have been avoided. I sincerely hope that the judges of the Supreme Court collectively will realize the grave damage that has been done in the last year and a half and try to see that this institution, which is ultimately the guardian of India's constitution, uh, remains the guardian of India's constitution.